Two-time U.S. Open champion up against three-time world champion there sat beside him, Johnny Archer. And Johnny's won this event before, too. Notice the judgment. Uh, they all come to watch me. Kamusta mga idol? Isang mabangis na laban na naman ang The Magician ang babalikan natin. Ang laban niya kontra sa isang world record holder na player. Ito ang third match sa Derby Classic 2005 na ginanap sa Kentucky, USA. Ang makakalaban ni Efren dito ay si John Smith na kung tawagin din ay Mr. 600. Si Smith ay world record holder bilang pinakaunang player na maka-score ng 626 points sa straight pool na kung saan ay eh, iskora ng laro. Kaya siya binansagan ng marami na Mr. 600. At di lang yun mga idol, nag-champion din siya sa maraming tournament sa bilyar, tagang pet malu ang person. Pero ang tanong mga idol, kung kakayanin kaya ni Mr. 600 ang nag-iisang The Magician, the greatest of all time, Efren Reyes? Mr. 600 pa kaya siya pagkatapos ng laban o Mr. Simangot na? Yan ang silipin natin sa video na ito. Si Smith ang unang babaanat sa Sargo, mga idol. Maganda ang pagkakasargo ni Mr. 600. Kaso nga lang walang hulog. Tira na ng The Magician. Thin cut, safety play ni Efren. Tignan natin ang sagot dito ni Smith. Counter safety play naman ni Efren sa likod ng Saiz. Kick shot safety play naman ang sagot dito ni Smith. Kaso, tumama sa 9. Tingnan natin ang sagot dito ni Efren. Bang shot safety play sa likod ng 9. Ano kaya gagawin ni Mr. 600? You're taking away a lot of the table. He's going to kick two rails and, and uh, whack it. Thank you. Man, we're sparring right here. Look at this. Two rail kick safety play para kay Smith. Unang bola pa lang mga idol eh, sagutan na agad ang dalawang legend. Kumbaga sa boxing eh, umuulan na agad ng mga jab. Tingnan natin ang gagawin dito ng The Magician. That was one of the times. You see what he did there? At ayun nga, bumitaw na ng hook. Kick bang shot sa corner pocket. Nag-init na ata si Idol. Jump shot naman sa harap ng Saiz para sa dos. Sinunod-sunod na ni Efren. Malinis na kaya niya ang rack na ito? Tingnan natin mga Idol. Yeah, 
seen him look. This was some kind of opening rack, this one. Total control. Easy nine. Let's Nakuha na ni Efren ang unang round ay este unang rack. Second round action here. Well, actually said this is second round action. It's third second rack. Sargo ng The Magician. In the winner's bracket have won their first two opening matches here in the 30th annual U.S. Open Championships. Two breaks. Yun lang, walang hulog. Pero walang tira sa uno. Ano kaya ang gagawin ni Mr. 600 dito? If he has success, don't be stubborn. Follow his lead. John just trying to roll that cue ball. Nagpush lang si Smith pero nakupo. Naiwan niyang open table para sa The Magician. I believe. Yeah, he let him have it straight in. But uh, what he was trying to do, like you have to do with good players. You know, there's no way. I think he tried to leave a kick and then dare Efren to, to shoot. Well, that was a mistake from John Schmidt. Yeah, a rare error. I think the last thing Schmidt wanted to do was start things out here, Danny, and dig himself a deficit. Well, I'll tell you, I played Efren many times, and he is a tough guy to beat. I don't want to knock him in any form, but he is a great front runner. He will protect that lead. You know, he's not going to make any mental mistakes. Ayun, napayuko na ang person. Mukhang alam na niya ang kahihinatan niya sa rack na ito, mga idol. Tingnan natin kung mauubos ni Efren ng bola sa second rack. He had to be, because where he was pushing to, he had to be using the three as cover. Well, that's a little closer to his work than he would have liked. Looks to be a newer cue. I've got a feeling that a very well and renowned cue maker from the Philippines, Ronnie Powell. And this nine to take a 2-0 lead and there you go Ray Ayer. 2-0 ng score. Nakuha ni Efren ang second rack. In rack number 3, but he is yet to put a foot wrong. Players work long. Ngayon diretso tayo sa 6 rack mga idol. 3-2 na ang score at break dito ni Mr. 600. And in an ideal world, leave himself nice on the 1. Maganda rin ang pagkaka-break ni Mr. 600 kaso walang hulog kaya tira ni Efren. Medyo inalat sa tirang yun si Efren. Tignan natin kung makakatabla na si Mr. 600. Naiwang may tira sa uno. Tignan natin ang gagawin dito ni Schmidt. Yeah, that's a rare miss. I didn't expect him to miss there. Of course, John thinks miss is an unmanned goal. Thin cut para sa corner pocket. Sakto din sa posisyon para sa dos. Mahusay din talaga itong si Schmidt. Really, everything in the open. Oh, this is odd. Tignan natin kung maitatabla niya ng score. That is a great kind of position where you just make the ball with high low. To clear the colors and leave that five. Sa laro pala na ito mga idol, 51 years old si Efren at 32 years old naman si Schmidt. These are the type of racks too with a player like Reyes. I mean, you've got to punish him. You get a miss like that. But those misses are not going to go unpunished. Yeah, John will take advantage. He's, he's really uh, he'll go from the 7 to the 8 and look where the 9 is. Just, uh, well, he got a little more angle than he wanted. He may just resettles himself a lot like a golfer that may be disturbed, making sure of exactly what his intentions are. So the first six racks have been split. Nakuha ni Schmidt ang 6 rack. Mukhang sinuerte siya sa gloves niya. Anyway, punta na tayo sa 7th rack at sargo dito ni Mr. 600. Kalat ang bola at mukhang malayo ang dos sa uno. Tingnan natin ang gagawin niya sa ganitong posisyon. Yeah, 
English shot para sa position sa dos. Maganda din ang cue control ni Schmidt, mga idol. Open table na para sa kanya. Tignan natin kung mauubos ni Schmidt ang bola sa rack na ito. Si Schmidt din pala mga idol ay nag-champion sa 2003 Sands Regency 9-ball tournament. Kaya mabangis din ang mga tirada ng player na ito. Nakuha ni Schmidt ang 7 track at lamang na siya sa score na 4-3. 8-track. Sargo ulit ni Schmidt. Halimaw talaga si Margo. Open table. At halos nakaposisyon na lahat ng bola para sa kanya. Mukhang maghahabol sa laban na ito ang The Magician ah. Yeah, looking every bit. This is how you want to play. You don't want to have any long shots once you control the cue ball. Down it goes. At nakuha nga ni Mr. 600 ang rock 8. 5-3 ng score. Now 5-3 in front of Efren Ray. Rock 9. Sargo na naman ni Schmidt. Kaso walang hulog. Ito na ang The Magician. Makahabol na kaya si Efren? Tingnan natin mga idol. John was hitting balls prior to this match as Efren was and uh, very quick to say that these pockets are too tight. But I think the humidity, it's been very humid here in Chesapeake all week. It you know, rained heavily last night, thunderstorm. I think under the TV lights here, Danny, I think that this table is is considerably drier than the others in the venue. It definitely. Combination shot sa 3 at 8. Corner pocket para sa 3 at posisyon sa 4. Mukhang makuha na ni Efren ng rack na ito mga idol. Don't say that. Nakuha ni Efren ng rock number 9 at 5-4 na score. Di kita ng laban mga idol. Ngayon diretso na tayo sa rock 12. Sargo ni Efren. Redown into the bottom corner. Does he have a shot at the one? Yes, he does. It's thin. Nahulog ang tres. Kaso, mahirap ang posisyon. Nakahilera ang mga bola. Tignan natin ang discarding ni Efren dito, mga idol. There's two very good friends on the left. Nick Varner, two-time U.S. Open champion, up against a three-time world champion. They're sat beside him, Johnny Archer. Bank shot safety play para sa uno. Yan ang magic ni Efren. Bad shot si Smith, kaya ballinhan si Efren. Tignan natin kung may lumas niya ang mga bola sa rack na ito. Nanonood din pala dito si Nick Varner at Johnny Archer mga idol. Yung dalawang pinakita kanina, chill-chill lang ang mga person. Anyway, balik tayo sa laban. 
Mukhang maitatabla ni Efren ng match, ha? Sometimes rolling it when you don't feel perfect to the seven. Nandiyan pa ba kayo mga idol? Kung nandiyan pa kayo eh, paikomment naman kung anong klase ng pool ang pinakapaborito nyo. Ako kasi 9 ball eh. Kahit para sa akin eh, mas mahirap ito kumpara sa 8 ball. Wala lang. Parang mas trip ko lang yung sunod-sunod na number. Kayo, ano ba sa inyo? Comment down below mga idol. Basahin natin yan sa comment section. At naitablan na nga niya sa score na 6-6. Mainit ang laban mga idol. These two players, first 12 racks in takes the unforced errors. Rock 13, break ni Efren at nahulog ang 8 sa corner pocket. May tira naman sa uno, kaso halos dikit ang 3 sa 6. Tingnan natin ang gagawin ni Efren dito. Still got an angle. Some of our sponsors at this year's U.S. Open, Q-Tech Q's, serious Q's for serious players. Chalk off the pool table cleaner. I want to thank BCA. Play BCA. Thin cut sa tres sa corner pocket. Mukang kay Efren na ata ang rock na ito, mga idol. When do you not draw rave reviews when you've got the best cloth in the world on the best table? The Coca-Cola wood on that table. could make a hundred cue sticks and he'd make way more with the wood that way. Gorgeous wood. This table would look very good in your living room, Danny. Yeah, I'd have to throw out, like I said, yes, sir. He's going to try to go one rail without hitting the nine. You don't want to hit the nine. And I don't know why he made a face when you're capable of doing this. At nakuha ni Efren ng rock 12. Lamang na siya sa score na 7-6. If you want to equate that to a batting average, you're hitting a lot of home runs. It's like hitting 400. That's what it is. Ngayon, diretso na tayo sa rock 17. Sargo ni Efren at dry break siya dito. Pagkakataon ng lumamang ni Mr. 600. Mukhang mahirap ang posisyon ng uno. Malayo sa 3. Tingnan natin ang gagawin niya. He's not thinking of that. What he did was hit that ball, so that kept him in position for the two. He didn't. We say it, but this is all about just controlling that cue ball, getting it into the intended area. Trumble up is what I'm thinking. Well, you know what? He's he's going to try and bank this. It's a free shot. If he misses it, he's hoping a little wide. But it was good thinking. Ayun nga. Sumablay siya sa bang shot sa side pocket. Si Efren na antira. Is he shooting it at all? Oh, how about that? It made it look easy. So all that talk was nothing. You know, I was about to say that uh, you never get a rush <laughs> of blood. I can tell you we've got the showman himself, Keith McCready, down right beside the main table. As we see Reyes. Napakapalangkat ni Efren sa 4 mga idol. Kay Schmidt na ang lamesa. Mukhang open table na naman ito mga idol. Tignan natin kung lalamang na siya. Yung Hua from Korea. He's enjoying a 3-1 lead at the moment, and I can tell you the fans will let you know how that one goes out. Reyes. That was a good opening shot. The shot was tough, but the speed was, you know, was tougher. That's one thing about Hammer. Some unforced errors, but Schmidt has punished every one of them, Danny. And I think for me, that's been the characteristic of this match. You're exactly right. That's good to do to win big tournaments. Take advantage of your opponent when he does make him. Uh oh, uh oh. He he had to jump up. Ayun lang. Biglang na lang sumablay sa shete. Medyo nagpaulan din ng mga error ng dalawa sa rak na ito. Mukang lalamang na ang damagisan. Efren, that was like a pleasant surprise for Efren. I don't think he expected him to miss that. No, and 
You just know that Reyes getting away with the mistake on the four still lives to with his head down. Nine secure. At ayun, kuha ni Efren ang rack 17. 9-8 ng score. Rack 18, Sargo ng The Magician. And the nine. Look at this. Punishing. Ayun, isang Sargo lang ay nahulog na ang 9. Buhay na si Efren sa Sargo na ito, mga idol. Lamang na ng dalawang The Magician sa score na 10-8. They're all my friends, but I gotta tell you, when you miss an out like John Schmidt did, he is gonna get punished some way, and that is the extreme. Break dito ng The Magician. Posibleng manalo na si Efren dito, mga idol. Oh, no-no! Ayun nga lang, kabaliktaran naman ang nangyari sa break na ito. Tumilapo ng cue ball sa labas ng lamesa. Ball in hand si Schmidt. Makakahabol pa kaya siya? Tignan natin, mga idol. I mean, he's going to try to draw it back a little bit and shoot the six in the side. Mukhang mahirap ang posisyon ng 6 dito, mga idol. Ano kaya discarded ni Schmidt dito? Ayun, nabigyan ng pagkakataon si Efren maipanalo ang laban. Mahirap kasi ang angulo ng 6. Mr. Simangot na si Mr. 600. Si Efren na ang dadali, mga idol. Always going to be a problem from the five to the six, and I don't think Reyes is going to let him back to the table again. So no, safe, but uh, a win is a win is a win. Yeah, and it was very interesting. And again, that suspense element that when a player looked like he's getting out and he doesn't, it's like a little bit of a shock. Imagine how the player feels. And this nine to close things out. Keep Reyes's dream for a second U.S. Open title alive. And there you have it. The magician threw the round four. At nanalo nga si Efren sa laban ng dalawang legends na ito, mga idol. The U.S. Open.